Welcome to the mystique. You're in the tool room. Kind of messy right now because I'm working on this boat, getting it ready to, to go sailing. And I'm about ready to have an art attack. You ever been hurt by an art attack? Gorilla art shows. We're going to do a series of art shows off of this boat. And let's see where the wind will take us. Let me come out of there so I can talk to you. Cool. It's nice to see you here. So now we can continue with an old story. Um, probably, I guess it was about a year ago, after an art show in Quincy, California, I released information on my upcoming series of guerrilla art shows. At that time, I had just finished publishing these two books. And in them, I've introduced my artwork over the past, what is it, of, since 1972. And I've written another book about the influences behind that artwork. And one of the concluding things that's promised in these two books is a third book. And the end of the third book had to do with taking this art and doing a series of spontaneous art shows wherever in the world I can. by doing it from the deck of a world cruising sailboat. Welcome to the mystique. This is the boat and I'm doing it. For the past few months, I've been working on redoing the electrical, you know, still a little bit left to do. Getting old fuel tanks changed, that should be within the next week. Um, cleaning up a little bit of the boat itself, which has been done pretty good for me by its previous owners. So now, let's go outside and talk out there for a minute. Go back topside. So, come on up. This is the captain's chair. Now this boat is the fulfillment of the promise made in the two books that I showed you down there. The third book, which has not been written yet, this is like the last third of that book. You have to wait for the book to see that story. But this story, 
to fulfill the dream of sailing, which is a childhood dream, as well as the books, I had to get a world cruising sailboat that I could afford. And that's not a lot. So what you're sitting on or standing on, as the case may be, is a 1975 CT-41 catch, a traditional cruising sailboat, 1970s traditional, designed by William Garden, renowned naval architect, and built in Taiwan. Alusha. He is the first full-time crew member on this boat. And if you want to sail on this boat, you have to pet the dog. Come, let me show you the boat. This is where you came in. This is security officer Alusha, first class on duty. This is called safety netting. I also call it dog savers. This all had to be installed, bits and pieces getting ready to power a dinghy, solar panels to generate power to the boat when we're offshore, a new 60 pound anchor, well not new, but new from Craigslist. manual and electric winches to raise the anchor. And if you'll look up there, you might see the top of the mast. It's a 41 foot catch, plus maybe five, six feet for the bow sprit. The catch has the tall mast in the front and the short mast in the back, for those of you who are not sailors. The advantage of a catch is that you have a lot of different ways you can set your sails to deal with unexpected conditions. And also the sails are small enough that if you're really good, one person can handle them. I will have a crew. I'm not good enough to do this on my own yet. Plus, that's not the object, at least not right now. This is where running the boat takes place. All this stuff still needs to be rebuilt. or not necessarily rebuilt, but dialed in, lubricated, maintained, and getting ready to go offshore. Let's go down below and I'll tell you a little bit about what's going to happen when this boat goes offshore. Come on in, sit down. Are you ready? You comfortable? I want to make sure you're part of this, you know. <laughs> okay. I had mentioned before you took the tour of the boat about the third book. Well, the third book, it has a title. It is The Voyage of the American Gypsy Maiden. That's not this boat. This is the mystique. The American Gypsy Maiden is a 1948 Ford house car. And the third book was the story of how building and using and living in that house car led to a life of doing artwork. The artwork, some of which you can see here, and the last part of the story in that book, which was my idea back in 1973 when I built the house car, was to eventually take the house car to Mexico and trade it for a sailboat and go sailing. That didn't work out exactly as I planned it. It took 40 years 
and I didn't exactly trade it for a sailboat, but through the series of events that led me to and through my artwork, the end result is, here's the sailboat. The next thing before this boat goes sailing is to finish the story of the house car. Somebody else will be taking the house car very soon after an art show this coming August 2013 in Quincy, California, at which time I will be auctioning off all of my art that will not fit on this boat and the house car. So when that show, that art show in August comes up, that is actually the end of the third book. What the real content of it is, you'll have to just see the book. From living on the land, using the house cart, traveling, becoming an artist, to this exhibition, Guerrilla Art Shows, wherever the wind blows, from a sailboat. But what you ask me is, what's the closing statement, what's really the meaning of my art and why I'm doing this, sh this, this, this tour. Well, the way I'm doing this tour is because it's one whole hell of a lot of fun. The why I'm doing this tour and the purpose behind my artwork can be best synthesized by showing you one piece. That would be this one right here. That painting represents art in the sense of a mental action towards increasing mental spiritual awareness. If you look closely at my work, you will find that much of it has multiple images that are only possible to see when you slightly alter your viewpoint when looking at the painting. My goal in developing my art style is to learn how to create images that will encourage people to look at things in a different way. And that by looking th at things in a different way, you see a different reality. And the ultimate of that reality is transcendental consciousness, graphically painted in the artwork I just showed you, which may be a subject of a future episode coming soon. Artwork entitled The Ascension of Mary is a synthesis of metaphysical, mystic, and occult doctrines passed down for thousands of years, but accessible to everyone and leading to conscious and intentional increase in their perceptual development. Everything else is just adventure, and we're going sailing. Want to come along? <laughs> Alusha, come here. Come here. Go say hi to Carrie.